there's so many trails around here. It's crazy. It's my ritual. Two pieces of gum. Anytime I run and work out. Works as a mouth guard. <laughs> so I always clench my teeth. Bad habit. And then to me it helps like breathe. Anyway. It's like with twin flames in a different life. Deep connection lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. Here we go. So this is like a four miler? Yeah. On a round trip or just to the end? Uh, it's a round I'm good. trip. There's oh, do you a, want yours? There's a loop, yeah. Wait, so I'm sorry, four miles round trip? Four miles round trip. Okay. Don't trip, chocolate chip. All right, let's do some good old fashioned running. Excuse me, it's a bit steep. <laughs> Let's go this way. Okay. You know, I didn't plan for scaling said mountain. Right foot, no left foot. Phone. What phone? Uh, You're just an innocent bystander. <laughs> Get over here. Where the hell are we? <laughs> you know that movie where uh, that kid steals the rocks from those from those old Aztec caves? And it's a, yeah. That's what this place kinda reminds looks, me of. Kind of looks that way, huh? It does. That's crazy. I feel like on camera you don't get like the full no perspective of like how tall this really no. is around us. We're, so that peak right up there. Uh huh. That's at least 500 or 600 feet above us. Wow. We have to go up this and then over to there. Oh, geez. Okay. All right. Good job, Slippy. There you go. Okay. Oh, there was a little walkway right there. <laughs> Look at that walkway. Now this is razor rock. We should have took this walkway. And someone made a little path. Oh, hey, baby. That is high. We oh, were like down. That. We were all the way down there. Yeah. That's crazy. How you feel? Yeah. You good? Good. You good? Uh-huh. We're getting there. Come on. 
dance Michael Jackson and go. Give some perspective here. There's some people. They're coming. This is cool. I like when people do stuff like this. You know? Might be getting windy because we're up high. You even put a solar light up here. Oh, so it shines a light. That's cool. Online. Oh, they have like granola bars and stuff. That's so cool. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Trifecta perfecta. Ah, that's really cool. All right, we got to sign it. And if you guys come, you got to sign it too. <laughs> Yes. That's cool. I like that. Oh, another little book in here. That's really cool. Yeah. I this was I like this one way better than the one we did last week. Yeah. Now do you just go back the same way? Yeah, okay. so we're gonna go back the same way. See all the way down there where that little flat rock was where we came up the ravine? Uh, we're gonna go back down that trail. You want me to go down first? Um, whatevs. I really don't like that cliff right there that they don't warn you about when you're coming up, so be careful. Look over the edge. No. Come on. Absolutely will not. Come on. Nope. But that is a cool view. That's the quick way down though. Yeah, right? I don't know how great it's showing up on camera, but it's pretty clear from our eye. I'm going this way because I'm not going to that cliff. Thank you. And now we do exactly what we did, but just go down. Good. Good. It was a good run. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm good. Little, I'm a little whacked out, a little tired, but I'm good. Good. It was fun. It but was you know what one. I don't like to do after a hard <gasps> workout? Stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always corny. <laughs> but I don't like to vacuum after yeah, a workout. Why? That vacuum. would be terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> no joke though. Who has one of these already? Like, Pretty cool. they're so cool. I've always wanted one. But I didn't know like where to even begin, which one, and I thought also like, do you really need them? Do they really work? And now, my friends, I'm here to tell you, we've had Hubert here. Hubert, gotta we named him. him. You got to name, name him for about four days now. Yes. And uh, we love Hubert, and my son did name him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is by Nate's. Like, gonna tell you more about it because he's all into like the electronics and stuff too. Uh, that side of it but this is by LaFont and I want to mention real quick to you guys and I'll link everything in the description box but what they're doing and they gave me a, a link for you guys for the first 50 people get 50% off and then after that it's 30% off so again I'll put it in the description but we really really like it the only thing right now is where we have it in the dining room it's getting a little bit mad on the the yeah. table legs and the yeah. chair. It can see its home when yeah. it wants to go home, but it keeps hitting legs trying yeah. to get there. Yeah. So and then moving again. So, uh -huh. cause these are like really cool. They'll go throughout like your whole house. And when they, you know, hit a wall or hit something, they'll move along a different direction, yeah. but we might move this to the living room to be a little bit more open space, but it's kind of funny actually. Mm -hmm. But yes, and you gotta name it, so we did. And anyway, but again, it'll be linked in the description, but 
we've really been enjoying this too. So it has an app for it. This is on Nate's phone. Yeah, oh, Hubert. It is Hubert. <laughs> How we came up with that, no one knows, but we actually just ran it. So it's actually, it's been going for a couple hours. So yeah, the battery life on it is good. actually really amazing mm -hmm. if you put it in quiet mode or normal mode. Yes, we'll show you too, but yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, it's been running for an hour, hour and a I half. I think so, easy. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So it still has more than half left too. Here's the box for it. But I wanted to show you too. We actually haven't played with this part of it yet, but it can technically do like a mop feature too. So a few things that it comes with, it comes with an extra HEPA filter, mm -hmm. comes with extra brushes, yeah, a cleaning tool and the mop attachments. Cool. And yeah, we haven't even played with that yet. Yeah, you just wet it and it, it mops That's your cool. floor as you go. That's awesome. Kind of cool stuff. It's, you know, I'll show you guys because you're my friends, but we did empty out the filter last night on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, because oh, I wonder how well it really works. That's always been my thing with those. <laughs> and we're coming from like having, you know, our big handheld Dyson. Dyson. And I'm like, come on. No, it was very, very embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> but I, it just, like I said, it just ran again. And I bet it will have some in it even right now. I'm like, great, that's wonderful. But if you have pets, i.e. pet, <laughs> I think it's really, really nice. And do you see like the lines in the carpet? I have a thing when you vacuum, like I, everyone vacuums, I mean, cause you should, yeah, but like you want it to look fresh. And when you vacuum, it has the lines. Yes. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, I love girl. that look. <laughs> so I'm getting this look every day. We have it on a schedule. Nate's going to grab it real quick <laughs> just to uh, show you. And you can control it manually too. But the idea is that, you know, you can just put it on, yeah. you know, random mode. Um, it's so cute. Look, go get it, Will. Go get it. <laughs> Can't right. be bothered. <laughs> so it actually has a sensor in the front of it. So like if it bumps into something, yeah. it tries to look away from it and then continue down a track. And it's on random right now. Okay. So it's just going to keep going and going and going until it is low on battery. Then it'll go home. It's really cool. I didn't know at first too, would it work on carpet too? And it totally does. As you see, it does both. Oh, see, it slowed down. Yeah. the wall here. <laughs> You Gotta can go. take control of it to move it where you want to. Yeah. And then you can even do a focus clean on it. So you can like drag it over an area and it'll just do that. So this is quiet mode, normal, super powerful. Okay. And that one's the mega power get everything. It's definitely louder, but I mean, I feel like even we just keep it on quiet mode and it does work so look at that line, line. <laughs> yeah. well i think it's really we like it now. it's coming for me oh it saw it's me oh, oh. <laughs> willie do something so, uh-huh oh well done you can build a schedule with it on the app okay you can take control of it and then if you ever lose it mm -hmm. so like if for some reason it gets stuck it'll have a little message and says help i'm stuck help me yeah i did that the other day <laughs> yep and then uh, it's got the... Find the robot. Oh, so it, so it alarms it. I get it. That's yes. funny. That's cool. That's really cool. We, I just yeah. really have been enjoying it, though, like, of just having it done every day. Not going to lie to you guys. I try to vacuum once a week. I think that's pretty standard. But the reality is, is I should probably do it more because of that thing right there. Yeah. That thing right there. Oh, witty. Yeah, you did it. You did it. You know. But Damn. but yeah, I, I think it's really cool. So again, it'll, all the information will be linked in the description box for you guys. I think it's worth checking out if you are in the market for one, for sure. It's so cute. Oh, oh get it. Get it. Get it. Wheel. Get it, Wheel. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can also do it upstairs because now I'm already getting like spoiled and I'm like... I want to have one upstairs and Nate says yeah. you can, you just have to essentially kind of put like a baby gate up. So <laughs> you, you can put um, a barrier. It also comes with a strip too. Oh. So there's a little strip that you can attach to the floor. You could do that at the top of the stairs then. You could do it at the top of the stairs, but it also does have a sensor. It has an anti-fall sensor. Oh. So if it's rolling over and the nose of it doesn't see the ground underneath it anymore, yeah. it'll back up. Huh. So it shouldn't actually fall down the stairs either. Well, I think it'd we be really nice. That theory, but 
Yeah. Cool. I like it. Bye, Hubert. I forgot. Promise is a promise. Oh, gosh. I said I'd show you. Oh, boy. Oh. oh. And that was... Oh, my gosh. Well, it hit, it hit in there by the cat litter. Yeah. So, it uh, that's about an hour and a half. Wow. And we literally just did it. Um, I Okay, well, that's enough. I, I've had enough. Mode. Yeah, that's... On quiet mode. It works really well, my friends. <laughs> Too well. <laughs> so I just got home from Target and I thought I would do a little haul for you guys. Why not? So I actually just needed to restock up on some more uh, facial tissue. This is a four pack here. I used the last one up in our room. I pretty much have one of these in every room, especially with the season shifting, you know. And then this was a really cool find. This was over just on like, you know how sometimes the end caps where they have just random stuff on clearance. I would have never saw this otherwise, but I happened to walk by and I was like, oh, I can't pass that up. And you can tell it's been on clearance for a little while it's got like multiple stickers on top of it so naturally i checked the expiration date on it because i thought well maybe that's why maybe it's going to run out soon but it still has a full year on it so it's still good to go but anyway i have told you guys orgain is one of my favorite proteins out there with that said this is the sport protein kind of like vega has their regular and then they have the sport then there's garden of life and they have a sport addition too i used to have that like way back when i first started doing protein powders and you know i do think it has really really good macros but as far as flavor goes it was not a favorite of mine but i did have that for a while i did it just kind of brought me back because i remember doing their sport edition one anyway with that orgain i've tried so many of their flavors but I have not tried the sport one. And this is just vanilla. It's 30 grams of protein. Most organ uh, protein is 20 grams. So it is definitely more. And then a lot of the times what it will also have too, yeah, is the BCAAs in it, which is really good to help with like recovery too. And that's what makes it like the sport edition if you're just comparing them. But anyway, I'm excited to try this. I could not beat the price. So I grabbed that. Anyway, I also picked up, I actually got this a couple weeks ago in their body spray, the Pacifica uh, Island vanilla this is the perfume though and so it's definitely more concentrated and Nate really really likes it he loves anything vanilla he's kind of just simple and I was like you know what I'm gonna get the actual perfume body spray is great but you know how it is it kind of fades so I got the island vanilla perfume and I like it it's actually really small that's good but they have a lot of scents they do and they all smell pretty good I know they have like a coconut one I think they have some different like floral scents too but I really like those and they're really affordable too. It's like 12 bucks for that. All right, so I'm putting this in aftermath here because I realized I didn't show you this, <laughs> but I was putting stuff away. I was like, oh yeah. So I got this body wash too. I love this brand and the, I've used this one actually before. I love the watermelon mint one too. It's a great scent, but this is good for sensitive skin, which is me. I do really like this a lot and they have like hand soaps and stuff now too. And then I totally got this on a whim, but I couldn't really beat it. I actually have a lot of sunscreen left, but of course it's kind of phasing out right now and it just could not beat the price. $2.99 for this, why not, you know? And then I got like a cream-based one too. I'll be all set for next year. And these don't expire till 2023. So we are good to go. And then this is new. You guys know traditional and medicinals is one of my all-time favorite teas. Well, pretty much all I drink, honestly, when I have tea is the Echinacea Plus one. I love it. They were out of it, in fact, but I do still have some left. But this is a new one by them, the Warming Vanilla, a stress support one. Warming Vanilla, that sounds so good. So I grabbed this to have too. I'm really excited to show you guys my coffee bar. It's almost done. Can't show you yet <laughs> on this vlog though, I should. But the Nespresso machine should be coming today and then I can actually show you. Okay, I'll give you a sneak peek because you're my friends. <gasps> Look, <gasps> I love it. Anyway. <laughs> I'll show you once I have it completely set up, but yeah, it's going to go over there. And then I got the Tazo Fresh Refresh Mint Herbal Tea as well. And then these I actually got a couple weeks ago in black. Aren't those pretty? They really are. And then now they were on clearance for like five bucks off. And I saw they had one pair left in this like tan color, this nude color. I love them. They're super comfortable too. Got some straws here. And I've never seen these ones before by Matter, made from plants, fully compostable. Now it says extra sturdy and I did like cheat in the store and I opened it up um, to check it out. And they do seem pretty much 
like normal. I'm all about like the eco-friendly ones. I am, but I don't like (laughs) when you get one and it's literally like disintegrating in your drink. That's not the point. (laughs) These seem, I haven't used them yet, but they seem like they're going to be okay. They do seem more sturdy. That's my spiel. Anyway, got a thing of Skinny Pop. Have to have it. By the way, totally finished up from Trader Joe's. That maple uh, kettle corn. Oh my gosh, that's sinful. So good. I got some more of these bowls. These bowls are perfect for popcorn too and for salads. I love them and they're only three bucks. They have them in different colors and these are all they had left and I grabbed them. I love them. I have one already. But I got a couple more. And actually, when I got the one that I already have, it didn't come with a lid. Unless they just didn't have it on there back in the day when I got them. Um, and I just didn't know. But now they have lids. So yeah, anyway, got those. And then I saw that they had this next to it too. Same thing, three bucks. And I thought this was kind of nice that it was like a thin one. Anyway, and then I needed to stock up a little bit on the kiddos' clothes. And it's such a trip, my friends. Like, you guys know our son. He's 11 years old, just turned 11 in June. And he's like my size. Like, literally, he's a inch away from my height not kidding (laughs) and it's kind of funny doing laundry now like if Nate ever puts things away sometimes stuff that's like mine goes into his closet the kids closet and then some of his stuff end up in mine because we're like the same size it's so crazy it's kind of blowing my mind I'm holding up some of these shirts and these pants and I'm like what anyway um but I did go ahead and get these PJ pants for him he has a pajama day at school and so I thought he could have something fresh you know Uh, So I got those. They do feel really soft. And then he needs pants. We don't have like any pants anymore for him, like at all. Well, we have like sweatpants and stuff, but not like for school. And I brought all of the ones that we had from last year and he totally went through a growth spurt and I had them in like the Cat and Jack size 16 and he just tried them on and he's like, nope, too tight. And I'm like, uh, (laughs) you know how it is moms, right? And so we're going to try these out in the 18, but this is officially the last size in the kids section and I swear these would go on me I swear they would (laughs) actually his swim trunks I put them on once I did they fit (laughs) but uh I got these for him but they're just so big like they're so long seriously what (laughs) this is all they had though and in the size 18 like this is not easy to get your hands on so i might text my mom and see if she can uh they're coming next week and she could check her target pick me up a few extra in 18 if you find them (laughs) anyway i also got one of these little disney shirts he has a disney day at school i'm like geez here we go (laughs) so got that for him to have for that day then i got this just easy short sleeve shirt and we're basically getting into all the long sleeve ones now which are all of these so got this one i like this one i would wear this <laughs> it's a really pretty like green and kind of a cream color here and they're, these ones are really affordable and they're soft too this is kind of giving me where's waldo vibes but it works you know i grabbed this one and it was folded up kind of like like this, and I didn't realize that it has camo on the sleeves. I don't dislike it, but I have to see if he's like allowed to wear that in school in California where we were. Camo was not a, not allowed. Um, it seems like dress code here is a little less strict for sure, but I'm not sure when it comes to camo. So I have to look into that or he can just wear it around here. And then we talked to him the other day and we asked, what is his plan for Halloween? And he told us he wants to just hand out candy. He's officially done trick or treating. And I'm like, oh, what? So I got this. It reminded me of Pac-Man, which he still loves. So he's still a kid at heart (laughs) and he can wear that for the night. It's a long sleeve too. And hand out the candy, which by the way, I am not buying till like literally a few days beforehand because otherwise we'll eat it all. You know how it is. Anyway, and then this one too. Again, where's Waldo vibes? Anyway, thought I'd share that with you guys. Oh, and then some socks too. Just regular ankle socks. Anyway, just thought I'd share that with you. I can't wait to share the coffee bar with you. It's coming. It's coming. I'm just so excited to have my windows open. And it's like three o'clock right now. 
Get it, Coco. It's getting a little bit warm since it's later in the day, but the high today is supposed to be 81, and I am here for it. So I wanna share this with you guys. This is the story. Earlier today, editing a video, I get an alert from Uber Eats from a place I'd never heard of, and it was a promo advertising for a place that has now in stock their white bean and turkey chili. And I don't know why, it just sounded so good to me in that moment. And then I was like, you know what? I could do this, I can make this. So sure enough, I get in the kitchen, grab all the things I'm gonna use and I have everything. The only thing I didn't have ready to go was the white beans or like great northern beans, kind of the same thing. I had these still in my cupboard and I just cooked them up quickly in my instant pot earlier so that they would be ready to go. They're still totally warm in there, but they are cooked. I just did water and a bay leaf. They smell really good actually, just from opening that. So then I was like, okay, I'm gonna unthaw some impossible ground meat, and this is gonna act like as our turkey, right? Just go with me, it's gonna be super simple, but I think it's gonna be really, really good. Plus I pre-made some pico uh, at the beginning of the week, which will be really good on top, and I'm gonna have Nate maybe pick up some tofuti sour cream to also put on top. I think that'll be really, really good together. Maybe some jalapenos, we'll see. Okay, so white beans, you need that. You can do it out of a can or cook them up first. Um, if you have dry beans, impossible meat, or any kind of uh, beefless grounds, that you prefer. These are from the garden. I'm gonna slip them in there and hopefully it'll be okay. They're little, but these two are little Serranos. <laughs> Gotta have a little kick, you know, but we'll see what Nate thinks. I have um, some assorted peppers also that I just saw that were ready to go. I have one orange bell pepper, two onions, some salt and pepper. Now, I don't think traditionally you add like tomatoes or like tomato paste. It's not really a tomato based uh, chili. But I always think that brings out the flavor a lot in chilies. And then I got some Better Than Bouillon. You gotta have this, my friends. It's so, so good. It just really brings flavor to what you're making, especially with soups and chilies and that kind of thing. And here is the spice blend that I'm gonna use. Some cumin. I still have this and I have not used it at all. And I thought that uh, coriander would be really good in this too. And I don't have any dried. And this has a little bit in there. So I'm gonna use some of this. This chili seasoning blend, and then some oregano. And we're just gonna see how this kind of comes together. I think it's gonna be really good though. Um, I'm gonna also do some uh, cloves of garlic too. I just need to pull that out. And here's the other thing I was thinking. I still have this garden vegetable hash. And if you don't have like fresh veggies on hand or something like this, don't feel like you can't make it. I think everything I just showed you would still be really, really good. But if you have this just kind of ready to go or a few uh, like zucchini or uh, cauliflower and that kind of stuff just laying around, grab that too. I'm gonna put this in there as well. Why not? And then I'll grab the garlic. Let's do it. And there it is. There's the pico, by the way. You gotta have it, my friend, so good. I showed this on Instagram. I did a, some meal prep too for Nate. This is his last one. It's just tofu air fried, some couscous, and then some air fried broccoli. Very simple and good.
All right, so I'm ready to share it. Do you like it? I love it. I love it. So I think the description box is gonna be very, very full, but I will try to link as much as possible that I can find for you guys, but I'll give you kind of the rundown because not all of this may be findable like online, but I'll try because I did go to different places to get a lot of this stuff, but I am so happy with it. I really am. So last week I mentioned to you guys that we were going to get the Nespresso. So Nate ordered it off of Costco.com and we got it on Tuesday. So we've officially had it for like three days now. Came late Tuesday night, so we didn't even use it that day. So this is our third day actually using it because it's Friday and we are obsessed and I'm happy to report that we have not been to Starbucks one time, which is crazy, <laughs> but we love it. Seriously, it's awesome. So when I posted it on Instagram on Tuesday night, when I got it, I got some feedback from you guys. A few of you said you're going to absolutely love it and you're obsessed with yours and I'm already with you for sure. And then uh, a lot of you even said, oh, come on, Nate, you got to put this back and let's get it together. Let's, let's, thank you. And some of you even said, please give a review on it. And I can definitely do that, especially in the weeks to come as I have it longer, you know, and try different flavors out and stuff too. Um, and then a lot of you said that you had one that you had just ordered and you're waiting for it to come in too. So that's cool. So the reason we got it from Costco is actually a few reasons. One, I think Costco has a really, really good return policy. And so if there was any problems and stuff, I was confident that that would be an easy fix, you know? And then aside from that, because you can get it at multiple places, Places. This one actually was like the combo pack where it comes with the milk frother as well. And you can make like steamed frothed milk. You can also do cold foam in it as well. It doesn't even have to be hot. And then it also came with a bunch of the pods as well. Now I did order some extra too. So that's not like it didn't come with all of those, but it does come with some, I think it comes with almost 50 in fact. And so that was a really good deal too. And then it also came with a $35 uh, gift card card in it for Nespresso.com so I could order more pods and what have you. So that's why I chose Costco. But again, there are multiple places you can get it. So then last week when I knew it was coming in, I was like, okay, I'm going to set up this coffee bar. I'm going to do it. So the rack I actually got off of Amazon. Super easy to build. Nate did it in like 10 minutes, which was great. But I will mention one thing because I will link this below. I think it's a great size. Um, it's not too big. It's not too bulky. It's like a baker's rack, you know? This we actually ended up putting on backwards. And the reason for that, because he put it together as it told us to first, and I'm like, I can't use it though, because if you notice, here's the bars, right? On this side, it's on this like outer side. It's supposed to be that this is the part that's sticking out, but then you can't really hook these on with this is in the way to hang the cups. I hope that makes sense, but I'm just saying, if you do wanna hang stuff, you're gonna to wanna to put that piece on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. So anyway, love this though. I really do. I like that it was a black and white option because as you guys know, most of our kitchen and furniture and stuff is black and white. So then starting from the top, Amazon for the sign, thought it was cute, liked the color. And then these were actually from TJ Maxx. And so that's where it's going to be a little difficult to maybe find online for you, but I will try that's the brand that doesn't help much does it thl i'll try but i thought it was really cute really sim like simplistic too and i like that right now i don't really have anything in them but they're cute <laughs> anyway so got those and then these as well these were also from tj maxx i did put sugar in here because it says sugar so i did and this one says milk i'll never probably really use it but i put my straws in there that you saw i got at target and then this was from Home Goods, and it's the Ray Dunn line for a little frother. This was actually before this all came. I saw it. It was pretty cheap, though, too. I probably don't technically need it now that we have this, but a quick little easy way to do it, too. Anyway, these glasses were also from Home Goods. And these jars, by the way, I've had these. These are from many places, though, you can find them, but I think I got them even at Walmart, and they're very cheap, and they're perfect for the pods. And then these glasses, too, I think I got off of Amazon, but again, I have had them for a while. And again, I'll try to link what I can. And that's pretty much it for the top. And then the shelf down here, I kind of stocked up on these, like, skinny syrups, and there was a few Starbucks syrups that I came upon, too, and all of this was from Home Goods. As you guys probably 
probably already know from if you've shopped at Home Goods or TJ Maxx and stuff, they do have like a small food section, a lot of like spices, oils, coffee stuff, stuff like that, pastas. And I remembered that in the back of my head and I'm like, I'm gonna go check it out. And that's where I found all of these. And they're a pretty good price too. The skinny syrups, I just wanted to mention to you guys, off the top of my head, the majority of them are vegan friendly, except for the cookie dough one. There's a cookie dough flavor. And in fact, they did have it. Um, and I did double check the ingredients. And sure enough, that one does have milk in it. And then I think there might be one more flavor, but aside from that, you're good to go. So I got this vanilla caramel cream one. We've tried it. It's actually really good. Um, and the skinny syrups, they're like zero calorie and stuff. I got this in a little three pack and that had the nutrition facts on it. Anyway, I tossed that already, but you can buy these individually or sometimes like the little gift sets. So that's what I did for these, the mocha one. And then they had two Starbucks ones, just the regular vanilla and caramel. Got another vanilla, caramel pecan, salted caramel, salted caramel again. Can't go wrong, we like caramel. Then I got some sweet drops for Nate. He really likes these. The vanilla cream is one of his go-tos. And then I got a pumpkin spice one as well. I put one of the Trader Joe's pumpkin pie spice. The maple butter, I thought that would be really good like in almost like honey in a way in like teas. So I got my teas here as well. And I have to definitely share this with you guys. I bought it on a whim to try out and we love it. And I'm not even one that's like totally into sweetened coffees and stuff, but I've even been using this. This is wonderful. I think the brand is called like Pure Cane and it is a zero calorie brown sugar. And my friends, it is wonderful. Nate loves it too. Got some more teas back there, some sweet and low back there. I also found this little set too for like on the go at TJ Maxx, I believe it was as well. And that's pretty much it. I'd have some trays down here. And then those are just from the K cups that I had left with the old Keurig. And that is pretty much it, my friends. I love it though. I do. I will give you guys more of a review maybe next week, even just using it more and more. But right off the bat, I'm obsessed. The flavor is unreal compared to K-Cups. And I've used a Keurig since pretty much they've come out like 10 years ago, seriously. And already in three days, I'm like, okay, night and day. Seriously, it's crazy. So I love it. I really do. And I will definitely keep you posted with like some of my favorites and stuff as we go. But that's my little setup. I thought I'd share it with you guys. I know this video is long, so I'm trying to wrap it up for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys tomorrow for a haul or later in the week if you see this later. Have a good one, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. See you soon.